Welcome to Academia De Cento. I'm Lorraine Rinaldi. We are cooking something really special today, a little bit different than usual. With me is Chef Matt Delano of Maggiano's Little Italy. A um, couple of questions about Maggiano's. Now, you're the managing partner of Maggiano's in Center City, Philadelphia. Yes. And there are 44, 44. in the chain that started out of Chicago, right? Exactly. First location was uh, Clark and Grant in uh, downtown Chicago, mm -hmm. and we kind of spread out from there. Interesting because I heard you were just recently in Texas opening Yeah, we opened uh, Austin, Texas uh, about three years ago. Um, my question to you is, are there sections of Little Italy in Austin? Uh, there's Maggiano's, that's going to be the Little <laughs> Italy down there. I just, you know, <laughs> East Coast, Chicago, there's Little Italy, uh, you know, but yeah, we're bringing the Little Italy we know in Chicago and around here down to Texas. And I, I'm sure folks love it. They do. Who doesn't love Italian yeah. food? All right, so let's get cooking. We're doing a zucchini frit. Yep. Tell us about this. So it's going to be a crispy fried zucchini. It's mm -hmm. one of our signature appetizers at uh, Maggiano's. Okay. Uh, so we get fresh produce every day, and every day we're slicing down zucchini. Because uh, the trick with uh, having really good crispy zucchini is that it's got to be... Uh, battered each day so it doesn't get soggy. Okay, so it's all fresh. Yep. Now this is a Maggiano special. Is this a, a Chef Matt no, it's, creation? No. I, I wish I would have come up with this. Right. Uh, be the million dollar appetizer, it, right? It would be because we sell so much zucchini every day. Now you tell me you've been cooking since you were a child with father, grandfather, Nana. Yep. Uh, since I was six years old, I, I grew up in the restaurant industry, so I've always been cooking and uh, ever since I saw all the flames underneath the saute pan, I kind of wanted to keep doing it. Well, it's good you chose this instead of like pyrotechnics or something. You yeah, know? a little safer. <laughs> so, Maggiano's, I mean, you talk about some real authentic cooking, having a chef that learned through the family. Yeah. And the family hails from Italy? Uh, my, uh, my mom's side actually does. Okay. Well, they say if your mother raises you Italian, that's all that matters. Yeah. A lot of oil here because we're deep frying, huh? Yeah, it's going to okay, be deep okay. And it. you're extra using what crispy. type of oil? That's the blend? Yeah, this is the blend canola extra virgin. Mm -hmm. So we'll just trim the zucchini on the sides. All right. Then you kind of want to cut it into what, like about quarter inch strips. Okay. The bar. Okay. Right, so got our perks right to being a regular. So you didn't even take the skin off. It's just cleaned and that exactly. makes it look appealing or? Because uh, we'll actually take the, uh, the batter off the sides when it drains. I see. And it just kind of looks, the contrast and color looks nice. It's a nice aesthetic. Good. So you're getting some of the Anna Double O flour to start your batter. Yep, some uh, flour. Mm -hmm. And now uh, we're going to add a little bit of cornstarch to it. Okay, doke. Well, what's the idea behind mixing the cornstarch and the flour and not just using one or the other? Uh, if you just do the cornstarch, the batter doesn't get quite as thick. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to kind of make, uh, it's going to be like a, almost a pancake batter. Oh, okay. So you're looking That's for the that consistency. Kind of consistency for gotcha. Then the club soda is what's going to bring it kind of into that tempura kind of batter. It allows it to be nice and light and uh, crispy. And how much are you pouring in? Uh, you want to go about a cup at a time, just so that it's not too thick or too thin. He knows what he does this all the time, folks, making it look easy for us. Yeah, every day we're making zucchini better. It's one of the nice things about Maggiano is we make everything from scratch. Okay. You like that too, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, so we'll add some, uh, a little bit of oregano in there. Okay. parsley. Love when we can go into the pantry and find all the spices and herbs we need. When you can't do it fresh, we got your solution. All fresh uh, ground black pepper. And you're pretty much seasoning it to taste. Exactly. So yeah, you load some garlic powder products. there. Yeah, just equal parts of everything. Okay, I like it so far. Some of my f my favorite uh, spices there. That's it. That's it. That's gonna be the batter right there. Okay. So we're just gonna dip our zucchini in, and since it's that perfect kind of pancake batter, mm -hmm. 
I see what you mean now. You're just taking it right off yeah, the sides. Just let it drip a little bit. But you want to leave some on there still, so that it, everything sticks. And these are the panko breadcrumb. Yep, Japanese panko breadcrumb. And why do you prefer using this? It just gets that much crispier. Sure. And when you serve this in a restaurant, what do you serve it with? You said it's an appetizer, but... Uh, the, lem the lemon aioli dipping sauce. That we're going to learn in just a minute. And this would fry up in no time, I imagine. Yeah, it takes about three to four minutes. And you're looking for that nice golden brown. So as that's frying, you can actually make our lemon aioli. Okay. So it's just going to be uh, mayonnaise base. Now, lemon, what you call aioli, aioli being the oil, right? Yep. So the oil was emulsified in the, uh, in the mayonnaise. Okay. You're starting with mayonnaise. Some, Some garlic. Some garlic. A little spoon there. Uh, that's good now. Okay. Lemon juice. Now this is fresh squeezed lemon juice, or fresh would you use a concentrate? Yep. Okay. Could you use either or? Uh, I always like to go fresh. Sure, when you absolutely. Have the need to. Beautiful. And then we can take some of that Parmesan cheese, put it in there as All well. All right. Here's your Parmesan. And sprinkle. Oh, oh, you trust me to do this? Yeah. I like cheese, so I'm gonna go a little heavy. Go for it. All right. We're gonna use the Romano too. Uh, we'll sprinkle that on. On the, the top. Of it. Yeah. Perfect. You just fold it in a little bit of parsley too. Okay. All right, so you're going to put the dipping sauce in a serving bowl. I'm going to move your breadcrumb you. so that you can plate. How's this? Okay. Looking good there, Matt. Yeah, almost there. Anything in a deep fryer is just awesome. Yeah, it gets nice and crispy. It's a good way to get your kids to eat vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike like fried zucchini. No problem with the potatoes there. So yeah. <laughs> it's got to work with zucchini. And the one thing you want to do while it still has a little of the oil on there mm -hmm. is when you want to hit it up with the cheese. So that it sticks? So it sticks. Yeah. Can I do that? Go for it. All right. We're using the Romano cheese. Mind if I go a little heavy? Oh, no, uh, the more cheese, the better. This is I'll my favorite. You're doing a little salt, too? Yep. Okay. And we'll turn them over. Oh, we'll go to the other side? Yeah. yeah you got Beautiful. Of I would imagine this would be pretty impressive if you're serving house guests. Yeah, and it's real simple. It is pretty simple. And it's all ingredients that you can have right in your pantry. Yeah. Okay, so now are we ready to plate? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Matt, this absolutely looks gorgeous and uh, appetizing. You. Hey, it's an appetizer. Thank you yeah. so much. Anytime. So what, uh, what else is new at, at Madriano's that we should know about when we come into the restaurant? So uh, right now it's our uh, 10th anniversary of our partnership with Make-A-Wish. Oh, okay. Uh, so we're uh, looking to raise money to send uh, a couple of the kids to uh, Disney and make their wishes come true. Nice. So when we dine at Maggiano's, we're helping the cause? Yeah, a dollar from all of our features, and you can make a donation uh, on your behalf as well. Oh, sounds good. And where can we find Maggiano's online? Uh, Maggiano's.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a Maggiano's Philly Facebook and Twitter, too. Okay, very good. And we'll look for you. And Matt was recently named one of the top chefs in the country from... Uh, uh, a poll of all your peers yep. in the business. Excellent. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks again for this wonderful appetizer. Visit us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, on Instagram. And I want to thank all the uh, followers, a couple of whom have mentioned that they now bring their eye gadgets into the kitchen for the recipes that we provide here. And, of course, look for one about every other week or so right here at Cento.com. Ciao.